Hello, my name is Mike Bell from Simple Improvement and we offer training, coaching and facilitation in continuous improvement. The aim of this video is really just to give you an insight as to what that means and how we might be able to help your organisation. It really is three things. First of all, we design training for project teams, improvement teams. Secondly, we implement practical process improvement, which is the best, simplest improvement methodology out there. And then finally, what we teach, we put into practice within organisations. Our work is heavily focused on PPI, practical process improvement. We work closely with Ed Zunich, who designed and developed the programme originally, and it is a fantastic improvement methodology. In fact, it could be your improvement programme. It's based around a simple eight-step problem-solving methodology. How does it work? Well, normally, at the beginning, we ask the leadership to pick the projects to work on because they're best placed to pick the ones that are the greatest priority for the organisation. Then we form employees into project team. These are guys that work in the process and they apply the eight-step method to solve the problem. Now initially they'll need a little bit of training in PPI but it's a very simple method so your employees can actually carry that training out. You don't need any external experts. But the idea is that once they've had that training they can do lots and lots of projects over and over and over again getting lots and lots of benefit for your organisation. And then finally leadership implement the solutions and then we go round that cycle again and again. Now PPI is based on three principles same principles we use within Simple Improvement. Logical simplicity, practical tools and methods, and involve everybody. So let's have a look at those three areas where we might be able to help you and your organisation. The first one is we design training for project teams. So that means all of the materials required to teach and coach PPI. So, for example, here are, this is the PPI 2020 Team Training Workbook and the Training Guide. Okay, so, and a similar sort of thing for the facilitation course. Okay, facilitating PPI and facilitating PPI Training Guide. So let's have a look at what that means. There are seven books. Books for leadership, facilitators and project teams. There are two options in terms of scheduling. You can do your projects in one week, the PPI 5 me method, or you can do them spread over 6 to 14 weeks. It's what we call PPI 8020. If we have a look at one of the books, so this is I've taken this example from facilitating PPI, and if I turn to page 121, okay, what you see on the screen is a copy of the two pages of the book. Now, in the book, you'll see that the top right-hand side is a copy of the slide, and I'll show you that in a second. This particular example is about improvement and change, the, the DABDA model developed by Elizabeth Kubler-Ross. Underneath the slide are some key points, the takeaways, really, that the project team need to remember. And on, on the right, there's some space for them to take some notes as they listen to the discussion. Then the left-hand page of the book is a, it's, it's a more like a traditional book. It's laid out like that, like a reference book that they can come back to and augment their knowledge later on. The training guide is very sim similar, except that we add teaching notes down in the bottom right-hand corner. So everything that a trainer of this particular course needs, and if I turn to the correct page, is on these two pages. So all of the background, the slide, the key takeaway points, and how to teach this are all there. So all the trainer needs is that in front of them to be able to do a good job in teaching, facilitating PPI or any of the, any other of the PPI courses. And then finally, here's a slide that would be shown on the screen. Okay. Now, let's see how we actually implement PPI. Now, the first thing we can do is that we can actually adopt your logo and colour and branding. We can put in forwards from your people, add in your own uh, business goals and targets. So here's an example here with a, a different colour branding. So from, from this side, 
This particular one in the middle comes from Aston University. They rebranded the PPI program as Aston Process Excellence. Okay, so if we have a look at, so here's an example. This is um, EMS Cognito. This is their, their colouring. Same material, same information, but within the Aston Process Excellence program. So they've used their corporate orange colouring. And we can uh, adopt that for any of the, the books that, uh, that we print for you. Make it really make it your improvement program. Because it makes it easier for people to accept within the organisation if it looks as if it belongs to them. Now in implementing that, we offer three packages. First of all, you can get a jump start. So let's say you've got experience of continuous improvement or maybe you've seen some PPI in the past. You're fairly confident about running the program but you want a little bit of help. Okay, so that's five days. We just give an introduction to each of the topics and then you can go on and you can teach and coach the material yourselves. Option number two is training only. So we do train the trainer. We do the facilitator training. We set up the steering committee and then we take a project team through a one week project. Five days, Monday to Friday. And that totals 12 days. And then finally, if you want the full implementation, it is only 20 days. And that includes all of the coaching of the facilitators and the, the trainers so that they implement PPI correctly. And then finally, what we do is we put that into practice. So um, I'm often asked to come and facilitate meetings. It could be a, an away day strategy meeting. Um, it could be to facilitate the discussion between a board and leadership team on clarifying the vision and missions. I, I did write the book after all. Or you could get me to come and speak at your events. Here are some examples of things that, that I'm asked to do. Just a comparison of improvement methods. How does PPI compare to, to Lean, to Six Sigma, to Theory of Constraints and all the other programs that are out there? Okay. That's quite a, an interesting discussion. Let's make sure that PPI is correct for your organisation, that you shouldn't be doing something else. Another one is good people, bad work. Yeah. Why do good people design, set up and run organisations that we hate to work in? Yeah. Interesting. And how, how can process improvement improve that situation? Improve the employee engagement within your organisation. Management Room 101 is an irreverent look at some of the techniques that we use within organisations and we never question. So we set up a discussion and we argue two sides. Firstly, that it's a trusted technique and that we should keep it. So let's take an example of performance appraisals. Or that it's nefarious nonsense and we should put it in Room 101 and get rid of it because we don't need it going forward. At the end of each little discussion, the group votes to decide whether to keep it or whether to put it in, in Room 101. And then finally is data quackery. It's one of my personal favourites. It's, it's about all the nonsense that organisations use to portray data in such a way that nobody can understand what, it's, what it means. So a look at some examples of that and how you might improve the analysis and display of your own metrics and measurements. So if you're interested in any of this but are not entirely sure, a good way to start is to organise a PPI pilot, a one-week project. Okay, so pick a complex problem with no known solution, give me a team and I'll work with them from Monday to Friday and at the end of it you will have solved the problem. The team will have understood the PPI methodology and you'll be able to apply it again and again and you will have a much greater idea of what PPI involves and whether it is your improvement program to allow you to make the decision as to whether to go forward and implement it. It's only five days but it really is very helpful before you make that, that decision about how to commit your own internal resource to it. Okay. So if any of that's been of interest, you want to book a PPI pilot, you want to just buy some of the books, you could just visit the website. But please get in contact because PPI, Practical Process Improvement, could be your improvement program, could be the way that you achieve your goals and targets this year.